Hello, my name is Cannon Coquit. And my name is Jack Lehman, and welcome back to The Kingsman, the podcast for Penn High School. So today, Jack, we're talking about uh, Penn's dominant bounce-back win over uh, the Adams Eagles. Yeah, they really look good, especially Kyle Riffle and Alec Hardrick. Kyle had two touchdowns, and Alec had three. Not only this, Nick Favilla continued to step up and play well. He uh, had one rushing touch, or well, he had two rushing touchdowns, actually. Yeah, he's been doing really good lately, even though he hasn't been playing QB ever. This is the first time playing QB. Not only was the offense very dominant, the defense was very dominant too. Nick Hardrick, uh, a defensive player, off a kickoff, he also had a 86-yard uh, touchdown in the second half. Yeah, the defense looked good, especially against a uh, Virginia commit quarterback. Yeah, he was really good. He was trying to pick on some of our cornerbacks, but I really thought that they did a good job uh, uh, blocking their wide receivers. Yeah, I agree. Moving on for football, they play St. Joe this week. Caleb Suski will have to step up in as the starting defensive tackle because Owen Wiseman is out with a stress fracture. I think that it's very big for uh, this defense playing St. Joe. I mean, both teams have been struggling a lot recently. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's really important that uh, they both come out with high intensity. Yeah, I agree. It's going to be a good game, especially since it's a rivalry game. I agree. For soccer, soccer's been continuing to do very well. They just defeated number six, Homestead, 2-1, to one, and this was the Canterbury invite. Olivia Killel scored both goals in this game, and then later they also defeated Fort Wayne. Um, goals by Olivia Killel again, Sophia Lenfesti, Mandy Baker, and Anna De Verona. Yeah, the soccer team's been doing really good, especially last night against Mary. It really means a lot to these girls since they've been working hard throughout the whole season, and it's paying off. It sure is. For volleyball, girls continue to stay dominant, beating Lafayette, Harrison, Covington, and Bloomington North in the Lafayette Jefferson Invitational. Not only this, they remained unbeaten in the NIC by beating Washington in three straight sets, moving into first. Yeah, the volleyball team has been dominant, and they're going to be even more dominant with Allie Hickey coming back from a shoulder injury. Yeah, she's definitely a veteran on this team. What does it mean that she's coming back as this veteran player? You know, it really means a lot. She's a senior and she's a leader, and she's also committed to Lewis University, and uh, that's a really good school for volleyball. So, she's definitely a big asset for this team. Other mm -hmm. other players that play a big role are people like Emma Hickey, her sister. She's really young. She's really good. Mm -hmm. Kylie Hicksonball and Bella Phillips. They continue to step up and play a big role for their team. I agree. For golf, four years varsity player Josh Yoder committed to play IUPUI. Uh, what does this mean for Josh as he steps in for his final season? You know, it's big for him. He has a lot of confidence moving into his senior season, know knowing that he has like his commitment out of the way. He can play with a lot of passion, and he can continue to play the golf that he needs to be doing for his team. I agree. As moving on to the girls' golf team, they won the sectional championship. That's a huge win for them as Grace Scolaric places first, cl first place and a close second is Livia Lee. These two have been dominant this whole season, and they, they're keeping it up. You know, that's big for them, especially when they finish one side by side, one and two. Um, it's big for them because that, like, they can push each other. They can, they're watching out for each other, and they can like, teach each other along the way. I agree. Another big thing for these two is Livia and Grace were both named first team all-conference, and Livia was named conference MVP. That's very impressive. I agree. Um, boys cross country. Penn Varsity takes eighth in the New Prairie Invite. Um, the top two runners were Joshua Tamelis finishing 29th and Ben Bordley finishing 41st. The freshman sophomore team won the New Prairie Invite with Mario Retzloff finishing first, followed by Carter Kayser coming in second. Um, the boys soccer team uh, beat top ranked Marion 1 to 0. This is big for them. I think Nathan Blosser, he came back from an injury, played very well. It's big for his confidence moving in. Uh, to the rest of the season. Yeah, Nathan played really well at goalie. Yeah, that's important for him, coming off a few tough losses that were close, so it's definitely a big confidence boost for him and the rest of his teammates. Mm -hmm. Girls cross country, they also participated in the New Prairie invite, finishing third. Top two runners finishing 13th was Brooke Neal, and then finishing 20th was Morgan Gannon. Yes, Morgan Gannon, Morgan Gannon and Brooke Neal will have to lead their team as they've, as they've been doing all season if they want to place first in the Culver Ac Academy invite. I agree, Jack. Penn tennis. Penn, ta or Penn was dominant, had a dominant win over Jimtown 5-0. to zero. Um, The singles winner was Will Turin going 6-0 and oh and 6-1, and one, and then followed by that was doubles winning Aiden Sutretza and Jack Dinan um, with a win 6-4 to four and 6-4. to four. 
that concludes for <laughs> episode two of season one. We will see you back next week.